Okay, hi, I'm Brian, and welcome to Commerce Server Training. Uh, so, Commerce Server Training is uh, offered by a company called uh, Vertica, uh, where I work. And Vertica is a Danish company working with e-commerce, integration and uh, collaboration. So, this uh, Commerce Server Training is part of what we call the Vertica Academy. Uh, and Vertica Academy is, besides uh, courses like this, is, well, courses uh, that concentrates on BizTalk Server Training, and other developer courses, um, well, on well mainly C Sharp .NET in general and um, ob object oriented programming, design principles, etc. So, Vertica Academy is actually uh, well. This is just a part of the Vertica Academy thing. <clears throat> so, Commerce Server Training is something that we actually inherited uh, by a guy called Max Akbar, uh, and Max Akbar is the former program manager at uh, Microsoft. Uh, and he, after well, doing that, working at Microsoft, he performed uh, commerce server training. Uh, and well, Max decided to quit doing that, and well, we just uh, were lucky to to get the domain and the material for Max. So this is actually founded by Max, and we've just well, taking the the course to to a next level, to the next level. Okay. So a little something about me. Uh, my name is uh, Brian. Holmgård Christensen. Uh, before doing .NET, I used to work with ERP development. Uh, I worked on the Dyma Dynamics X platform from Microsoft. Uh, and today, well, mostly I'm doing .NET development um, and I'm just covering the whole shebang uh, from C Sharp, SharePoint, Commerce, of course, um, ASP.NET in general, and a couple of uh, other technologies uh, is, well, part of my everyday work. <coughs> Also, I'm co-founder of uh, one of the biggest .NET user groups in Denmark called uh, Aarhus.NET User Group, and currently we have uh, 600 plus members. Um, my common server experience is that uh, I'm working as a developer lead in my company, um, where I do a lot of uh, well common server development on common server 2007 and common server 2009, and the projects that I work on are well bo both the uh, business to consumer, business to business uh, projects, and the technologies that we use in these projects are, well, Microsoft Office SharePoint Server, BizTalk, uh, SQL Server Integration Services, and technologies like that. Uh, besides being a developer lead on, on concrete projects, I also work as an, uh, a consultant on various projects for various customers. So, yeah, and like I'm doing today, I'm doing training on Commerce. Uh, I actually participated a couple of times in uh, Max Akbar's training, so a lot of the knowledge that I have was actually, it came from Max Akbar initially. Okay, so, well, we're here on the Commerce Server Developer Week, and these are actually the modules that we will be, um, that you will be, uh, well, uh, tried out on. Um, the first one is the Architectural Developer Overview. This is a module that will just give you a, an, yeah, an overview of Commerce Server as a whole. We will look into the different uh, bits and bytes in Commerce Server, and you'll get an a overall understanding of what, what's in that uh, product, the Commerce Server. Next up is the developing on ASP.NET. Uh, on that module, we'll be looking into how ASP.NET and Commerce Server works together. What do you need to configure to get Commerce Server working? Uh, the next module is the uh, Commerce Foundation API module. He will be looking uh, in detail in the, the new Commerce Server 2009 Foundation API. So we will look into all the new stuff that they introduced with the newest version. <coughs> uh, the developing catalog system, we will just focus entirely on the catalog system of Commerce Server, do some, some queries against that and look into all the, the possibilities in the catalog system. The same thing goes with the, uh, the inventory system, the order system, we'll also be looking into how we integrate to those two. Uh, and the last two, uh, the last, mo the, uh, this module, the insight developing on SharePoint is how do we work with Commerce Server and SharePoint and how is the, um, the SharePoint solution that Microsoft offers with Commerce Server, how, how does that work? We'll look into that. Uh, the last module is actually where you guys are in charge of um, deciding what we should uh, will be discussing. So this is the practical how-tos. These are the, well, the, um, the stuff that you guys work on in your everyday pro project, and we'll be problem solving on those. <coughs> uh, 
And if you don't have any input on that module, I'll just give you some practical how-tos on, on various scenarios. Okay, so you guys have uh, been handed out a development environment. Uh, this is a Windows Virtual PC. And on that machine, we have installed uh, the Windows Server 2008 version. Uh, we got the SQL Server 2008 running. Common Server 2009 is installed. And you got Visual Studio 2010 installed as well. Uh, the code, the solutions that you'll be, well, be uh, testing out later will be handed out on, uh, when required. Uh, logging onto the machine is using the administrator, use, administrator user and a password that I'll give you later. And just feel free to install any other applications that you need. Okay? So, that's the introduction. <laughs>